Here's some more SAT practice for you. Today we are going to go over three different ways factor by grouping can show up on the SAT. Check each and every one of these questions out. I guarantee it's going to be worth it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to work. Start off with this first question. Which of the following is equivalent, equal to the expression above? We're trying to match one of these bad boys with the one with the expression on the top. Anytime I see four terms, I off the bat always almost think of factor by grouping. It's going to take way too long if you distribute each one of these binomials right here. And that's going to take too much time. If you know factor by grouping, this is going to take you maybe 30 seconds. When you are factored by grouping, you want to put the first two terms in parentheses and ask yourself, what is the greatest common factor first out of two and six? And that's going to be two. I can divide those two by two. Now I look for common variables. It has an A, it has an A, right? So you can take out a common A on the outside. To figure out what's going to be left over in the inside, just divide by what you took out by 2a and you're going to be left with 2a parentheses that's going to be x negative 3 and my goal for the second two terms is to get the same parentheses in the inside so like the parentheses in blue we're going to put these in parentheses and anytime this is a leading coefficient that's negative i'm going to take out a negative greatest common factor I can divide 3 and 9 by negative 3, and they don't have a common x, so that is the number that we're going to divide both of these by to see what's left over in the inside. Negative 3 on the outside, negative 3 over negative 3 is x, so look, it's starting to match up with that. And 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. Nice, they match. And once you get practice with this, you can do this in your sleep. The first parentheses. You can put those two terms in front of the parentheses 2a minus 3 and they have a common parentheses of x minus 3. Look for that choice and that is letter D. Let's move on with that same skill. This one it kind of looks weird because it's not four terms so believe it or not this is also factor by grouping. Same question, which one is an equivalent expression to the one shown above? And these are your choices. That will take way too long if you distribute every single answer choice. This problem is even halfway done. Check it out. In the blue parentheses, they don't have a greatest common factor, right? You could always have a greatest common factor of one. So that doesn't change anything. If you look, they have a common parentheses right here. This was like 10 second, 15 second problem if you notice it. First set of parentheses are the terms in the front, one minus x, and the second batch of parentheses is the parentheses that they have in common, one plus two x. Look for it, there's only one answer choice, which is letter B. Doesn't matter if these are mixed around, these two mean the same thing. And for the last question, this one is kind of weird because it's six terms. I'm so used to factor by grouping with four terms. And I like to look at the answer choices first. You can kind of see the X, Y, Z that they have in common, right? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So sometimes work off the answer choices to get to your question, to answer your question. I feel like they always ask it this way. Which of the following is equivalent expression to the one shown above? So let's factor that by grouping. Let me just rewrite that question. In the first batch of parentheses, we'll put it in blue. It's like the second question. They don't have a greatest common factor, nor do they have a common variable. So we can always take out a one. In the second batch, in the red batch, if this leading coefficient is negative, take out a negative, but I'm taking out a negative too. And if you look, they all got a W, right? So you can also take that out of the parentheses. Divide each one of these by negative 2w, and you'll get the inside of the parentheses. That's going to get me 1x. That checks out. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2y. Check it out. And guess what the last one's going to be? If your guess is 3z, you're exactly right. 3z. And if you look right here, they got that common parentheses. So it's the same question, guys. Same question. Terms in the front in one parentheses, one minus two W, and the second batch is 
what parentheses that they have in common. X minus 2Y plus 3Z. And your answer is letter B. Put factor by grouping in your arsenal. Guarantee this is going to show up at least one time on the test. Good luck on your SAT. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll help you out with more math. But until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.